Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, we're gonna look at the crop and zoom with Ace Movie. We'll be covering crop as well as pan and zoom. Camera movements are essential in creating different styles and feelings in a video. Most videos and shows you watch will have some sorts of camera movement in them. However sometimes in post-production when we edit, we want to emulate these camera movement to add style to our shot. Let's start with cropping a clips. Cropping lets you cut out certain parts of your frame, so the audience can't see it. Let's right click the clip in your timeline, and navigate to crop, or you can click this crop and zoom icon. This will open up the crop window, in the center, you'll be able to see your video. At the bottom of the screen, we can select our aspect ratio from the ratio drop down menu, or type in a custom one in this boxes. Now let's crop this frame a little. First we can select a aspect ratio, and when you drag the corner of the yellow box, you can crop the clip in this aspect ratio. When you change the X of the crop area size, the Y will change at the same time, and they will keep on the aspect ratio you select. Then I can position it where I want it. If you want to custom the aspect ratio, you must choose the custom in the aspect ratio. Then you can change the X or Y independently, or just drag the side of this box, and another side will not be changed. Then you can click it to preview the video, or dragging the yellow slider to preview the video. After that, click the OK, just like that my video is cropped. In this video, the camera is moving from a scenery shot to the characters the whole time. A dramatic slow movement could be a great way to reveal our character to the audience, instead of having his whole body in frame. So with this effect, we want to make it appear like the camera is panning towards our actor. Here I'll use keyframe to do that. First add the video to the video track. Let's increase the scale of the video. Here I'll set to 200% and dragging the playhead to the start of the video. Let's click this icon to add a keyframe, and move the video to make the characters disappear from the screen. Then, move ahead the playhead to add another keyframe, and move the video to make the characters appear in the middle of the screen. Let's click to play. The camera movement looks great. If you want to know more about camera movement, just check this video. Next I'll show you how to use pan and zoom in a screen recorded video, like a gaming video or a tutorial like this one. Here's the effect we're going to create. It's common to zoom into a point of interest on this screen recorded clip, and zoom back out. So let's use this screen recorded stationary clip to zoom in and zoom out. To start, we're going to add two markers to this video. First, Select to where you want to zoom in to end, and add a marker here. Next, select to where you want to zoom out to begin, add another marker here. Now, let's move the playhead to the start of the video. Add a keyframe here, and move the playhead to the first marker. Add the second keyframe here, and go to the right. Change the scale, and go to the window to move the video. Then move the playhead to the second marker, to add the third keyframe here. Last, move the playhead to the end of the video to add the fourth keyframe here. Then go to animation section. Click this circle icon to reset the scale and position of the video. Then you're done. And now let's take a look at the final result. Looks good. Thanks for watching. Check out our other tutorials to learn how to take your video with Ace Movie. See you next time.